Hello everyone, this is Young Sang Cho and welcome to Jadam. As you know from the other videos, I've been farming 60 different kinds of crops every year for researching the effects of Jadam natural pesticides. And with those results, I was able to publish two books on organic pest and disease management. In today's episode, I want to talk about controlling aphid, which is a very common topic in between farmers to gardeners. I've already released all the recipes in the book called Jadam Organic Pest and Disease Control, but in this video, I want to show you a little more straightforward result of using Jadam Natural Pesticides and how it affects to the aphid. And I'll also show you the comparison of eco-friendly commercial products versus the Jadam one at the end of this video. If you have been watching my channel, you have probably noticed what I repeatedly say about pest and disease control. Once you have managed control aphid and powdery mildew, you are good to go. It means once you treat those two things, you can be master of natural pesticides. All we use is the simple solution. And here we are again, I'm showing you the same ingredient from the previous video. And if you're watching for the first time, I know you won't believe it, but yes, it does work with combination of these five ingredients. You can control almost all pests and disease that can occur during farming season. Yes, all means from drips to anthracnose. One big different thing about Jadam Pest Solution is that you have to make everything by yourself from JWA, JHS, and JS. This could be the cons of this technology. However, in this way, you will spend about 20 times lesser amount of dollars, and I guarantee that every Jadam solutions are powerful and most eco-friendlier than commercial chemical or organic pest and disease solution in the market, which I think it is attractive to manufacture one by yourself. I'll put up the link on the top, so if you're new, please watch other videos on how to make JWA and JS. It is great solution, but you will need to pre-test all your solution before spraying into the large fill because you don't want to have a bad side effect from the large dosage. Anything excessive is always not a good solution and we all learn it from our childhood. For that, I wrote down all the precaution that could happen with the ingredients, so please read it before trying by yourself. Now, let's begin with the life cycle of aphid. We know that aphid is one of the most destructive pests to plants in temperate region. They are active from April to October, and they become an adult within a week, then leave up to one month. You might think it is short, and why do we need to think about them? But the real problem comes from their babies. It does not have a mating period, and reproduce average of 15 baby aphids per day, and that is not the egg. Egg needs few days to hatch, but babies, they start eating right after the birth. Moreover, all those offspring babies are mostly female, which means if you fail to control all in certain period, your crops will be filled with aphids. This is the reason why they could earn the title of destructive agricultural pest in the entire world. If you are a farmer or gardener, you know what I'm talking about. Even if there are other solutions to treat aphid, it does not eliminate all but few. Killing few aphids does not help the farmers at all, because survived one will reproduce their babies again. We need something stronger but safer and reliable way to treat them. And you will no longer worry because you are watching my videos. Once you successfully control aphid, you can make other solutions for different problems. These are the pictures that I have taken while researching on aphids. The leaves were clean before, but we needed them to be tested with our own solution. So I have not sprayed anything for a while, and we don't worry about the plant, because we know it will die anyway with the solutions. As I have explained repeatedly, in all my videos that it is mandatory to use soft water to make JWA, JS, and JHS. When we are talking about soft water, which means it contains low calcium ions and magnesium ions. So where can we collect soft water? Well, it is quite easy to find one from the rain, distilled water, air conditioner water, dehumidifier water, and also from the ground, or you can make your own water softener. 
but please do test the water by yourself with JWA. And there is a reason why we tell you the importance of soft water. It is because of wetting properties of Jetum solution. As you can see from the picture, the solution used with soft water will wet the leaves completely, which means the effect and success rate of pet solution will also increase. Let me briefly show you how to test the water with JWA. Simply add few drops of JWA. When the water is clear for a couple of minutes, that it means the water is usable for pet solution. But if not, it means the water has less wetting properties and it will leave a mark on the surface of the leaves then eventually those marks will build up and block the photosynthesis of the crop. Moving on to the JHS. If you have used correct water then the color of the solution remains the same but if not it will quickly turn brighter. It could also happen if you store it in a wrong way. If the JHS is fermented, it will be useless. You have to store it in airtight condition and you have to boil the herbs right after collecting. I have also posted a video on how to make JHS with simple tools. So if you haven't watched it yet, please go ahead and watch the other videos as well. If you have purchased one of our book, I have also elaborated in detail how it can be made and the recipe of each and every solution. But if you are a gardener with no access to Ginkgo JHS and don't have enough time to make all of this, you can just use JWA alone. By increasing the amount of JWA, the pest control rate will increase. And another solution is to add sodium hydroxide along with JWA. As you can see from this picture, I've elaborated all the ratio. During prevention period, you can add 5 liters in 500 liters, then gradually increase the ratio as shown in the picture. So I have just told you that Ginkgo JHS won't be necessary, but there is a pest that only Ginkgo can treat, which are sting bug, flea beetle, leaf miner, mosquito and more. So please use JHS if you are facing these pests. Ginkgo is one of our favorite, but you can also find alternative herbs to make it with. And there are some pests that makes the leaves to curl inward, such as leaf curling, aphid. In this case, you will have to focus on winter control and prevention control, because the solution won't be effective if it does not contact the aphid's living habitat and utilize the kickback reaction of pest solution on the landscape fabric when you are spraying on crops which the leaves are all located on the ground. If you look at the footage here, these are the aphid that I collected from the apple trees. The apple tree leaf has lots of hair on the back of its leaf, which makes harder for farmers to control aphid. Abundance hair indicates less penetration rate. Therefore, I have added 20 liters of JWA on 500 liters ratio. Now I have sprayed the solution and as you can see that the aphids are not moving, which is a good sign. The shot were taken during hot weather and I do not recommend to spray the solution under the sun due to evaporation rate. However, we can still observe that it is effective. For better close-up view, I brought the leaves inside. It has been about one and a half hours since I sprayed and from then, I filmed seven hours straight with time lapse and it looks like the control rate is about 98%. I've added 20 liters of JWA into 500 liters of water which is equivalent to 800 ml into 20 liters spray bag. However, it is not so necessary to add such amount. You can definitely go lower than this one. Now, let's move on to final comparison with commercial products. Of course, these products that I'm using is also qualified organic pet solution specially made for aphid. The middle one is the Jadam solution and the left and the right are the commercial products. As you can see here, that both sides of the leaves are not wet enough which means there is no sign of penetration. 
but the jadam solution in the middle is fully wet. I filmed this footage for about 7 hours to 8, and from my point of view, these products cannot be called as aphid solution because at first it didn't work right, so I sprayed double the amount, but still could see nothing much changed. As time passes, the leaves are getting dry, and the left and the right leaves, you could barely see the aphids because it all moved away. I'll show you how it looked at first stage. You could see there are big difference in between before and after shot. The commercially available pest solutions are expensive and the result is very disappointing. I thought it would have at least 95% of control rate, but most of aphid just ran away. And I don't think all organic pest solutions have this kind of problems, but I am disappointed with the price and the effects of these famously known organic pest solutions. Researching on pest and disease control is not a privilege of scientists and professors from the laboratory or university research team. Anyone can start researching on things they want to, just grab a sprayer and start to make your own recipe. So lastly, I would also like to speak about the tools for spraying pesticides. Just spraying the pest solution is not everything. The tool also plays big role in agriculture. In the next video, I will show you how to make sprayer stick that is easy to make and very effective with Jadam solution. I hope you have enjoyed our video. If you are interested about our book, please go to the link below and I'll be back with more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.